Welcome back to the channel, Crypto Tro. I am Crypto Tro, bringing you the latest and the greatest in cryptocurrency. And today, man, we're going to talk about DeFi kingdoms and how the quests are now live, how you can now start earning experience points and also Gaia's Tears. And if you don't know Gaia's Tears right now, you need those to summon more heroes. So this is the perfect way if you don't have tiers, if you don't want to buy tiers. I know at first the tiers, the price of tiers were extremely high because there was no use case for them and there wasn't any on the market at first. But now we see the market will be flooded once the quest and more and more people start using the quiz. So today we're going to talk about, and I'm going to show you how you can do the quiz if you have heroes. And also I want to talk about the floor price of heroes and just an updated statistic that I saw today on DeFi Kingdoms. But before we get into all of that good stuff, man, make sure you follow me on Twitter. This is where you can get directly in contact with me. You know, if you have any questions, um, about any projects that I talk about, you can hit me up on Twitter and I will be happy to respond. Sometimes I may take longer because it's a lot of stuff that be going on throughout the day, but I do respond on Twitter. And also make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. I want to put out more and more content, just offering value, man, showing you things you maybe don't know that you need to know, especially in these projects that I'm invested in. And also, none of this is financial advice. This is just my personal opinion on things um, and the projects that I invest in. But I always tell people never risk anything you can't lose. If you can't sleep at night, you are overdoing it. You're just overdoing it, man. Take something out, sleep better at night, this should be investing should be a learning skill and it also, investing also should be fun, man. You know, of course, you taking it serious because you're creating wealth and building assets, but have some fun in the meantime. Don't be so uptight and so going around just mad because the price dropping 50 percent. We know what happens in crypto. Just stay calm and hodl and be patient and man, get some rest, man. Have fun. Enjoy life. But anyway, that's just a little spill. We finna get directly into it, man. DeFi Kingdoms. This is it, man. We see the quests are finally live. And quest is where you can actually come and make in-game currency and make, you know, a passive income and use your heroes and let them work for you. So this is the main page. So we're currently on beta.defikingdoms.com. I will put the link in the description, man. So currently it's on the beta but stay tuned. We're going to be on the main website soon, but right now it's just testing in beta. We see all of the regular places you can go on the map, but the thing is with the quest, it's like almost hiding in plain sight. It's like a secret hiding spot, man. So right in front of the castle, the castle that's in the middle, man, it's like a wishing wheel. So that's the wishing wheel. You want to click on that. It's like literally right in front of the castle. So you want to click on that, man. And this is the wishing wheel. So the quest description um, requirements, you know, you got to have at least one hero and every quest costs five stamina. So potential rewards right now, heroes gain at least one XP per quest and you get a chance to get tears. And like I said, tears, if you don't know, you can sell tiers as well on the marketplace. I'm not sure how much tiers are right now, but you need tiers in order to summon more heroes. So this was actually what I was waiting for because I wasn't finna buy tiers at the price or rather at the time that I was trying to summon a hero tiers. It was about $120 to summon one hero. So I was like, let me just wait till the quest come out. I know we'll be able to get some tiers from the quest. So I was patient and now I'm just going to let my heroes work for me and pretty much get my summons for free. So that's another tip, man. If you waited to summon a hero, go to the wishing wheel. You know, you can, this is where you can pretty much get your tears for free. Just let your heroes work for you. And then you will be able to summon pretty much for free if you have enough tears. And we already know it's about 10 tears per hero for a summon. So you're going to need some tears if you plan on summoning any more heroes so let's get straight into it i'm going to select a hero right now so we see my first two heroes i already actually did 
some quests with those. I did. I maxed out on my quest for right now with those heroes. So I'm going to just wait. Maybe later on today or tomorrow, I'm going to do some more quests because I'm trying to level up as fast as possible. And the stamina recharges one every five minutes. So be patient, you know, let your stamina recharge and then, you know, pretty much get back into the quest. But I'm going to show you now with the other heroes that I have, how you can start the quest and go on the quest now. So you just select the hero and then you say quest attempts. I'm going to do, let's just say, I'm going to say two. So we want to click that. So now the start wishing well quest has started. Then after that, you want to just hit complete. Once you complete that on MetaMask. So from this particular quest, I received two experience points man so we can go back and do it however many times we want to as long as we you have enough stamina so right now on this particular one i have 15 stamina level because i did two and it takes away five stamina for each quiz so i'm just gonna do the the whole entire three left man i'm gonna do the three left and just go and get my experience points and hopefully some tears i know on the first two i end up getting about five tears from that uh quest so um hopefully i can get 10 so it is a cool down period it's a cool down period so uh i'm not sure what's the cool down like the exact time limit of cool down but i'm just gonna wait um and let's see if i can do so it looks like you probably can't you can't complete another quest until you finish the one you started so like i said that's how you pretty much do the quest uh it's a cool down period right now i'm not sure the what's the cool down period like what's the time limit but um as time goes on i'm pretty much sure i'm gonna find out what's the time limit um but that's how you do the quest that's how you go to the wishing well and if you want to that's how you start to earn tears and xp for your heroes so that's that now, man, let's go to the tavern and let's see what is the floor price of heroes right now. So if you wanted to buy a hero, the floor price right now is 189 jewel, man. The floor price just increased like crazy. Yesterday, it was 115. Now, today, it's 189 jewel, man. The price is still the same. So uh, hey, if you don't have heroes, you need to get in and get some heroes. I'm telling you, they ain't playing with these prices, man. The floor price just increased like crazy. But I'm glad I got in early, you know, got the heroes. But it's not too late. I'm not saying, like, they're not worth the money. You just got to find the particular hero that fits you and what you're trying to do and what's your strategy for the game. Like, you got to make sure you have a strategy, though. Don't go in just buying heroes, just be like, I got a hero, because that's not it. Like, you got to have a strategy to it, especially since uh, you didn't get in early enough to not necessarily think about what you're doing. Like, don't get me wrong, you still have to think about what you were doing, but the prices were so low that you didn't really lose out on too much. But now it's like, you know, you really got to be strategic on how you want to buy your heroes and how you want to you know, some of your heroes and all of that matter just because the price is so high right now. But still a good buy for heroes. Just got to make sure you get the right heroes. So that's the floor price right now. And that's pretty much my video. One last thing I want to show you guys, though, is some new information, man. So just yesterday, this chart, you know, my last video on DeFi King, those dead chart was a little outdated. So I want to do another update. This was updated today. We see Axie Affinity is still at the top, but still right under it at number two is DeFi Kingdoms coming in at $45 million by volume in the last seven days, man. And that's major because we see transactions actually occurring on the, on the project, like it's volume being produced on a project, and that's a major thing on these projects. You want to see the volume in it. You want to see people actually using it, not just buying and holding the token. But like I say, cryptos is more than just buying and holding the token. If that was the case, we could have stayed in stocks, man. Cryptos have utility. Cryptos are not only an asset just by holding it, but you can actually use that asset as you hold it, man. So that's why I'm very excited to see 
DeFi candles up there and seeing the utility because I always say I'm bullish on this project and I never just recommend people uh, to any project. I always say do your own research, but DeFi candles is one of the projects that, you know, I believe in and that I see, you know, just the different metrics that's occurring and I believe it's going to continue to grow, man. So that's my spiel on that. DeFi candles still number two on the blockchain games. Hey, DeFi candles. It's going crazy right now, man. But anyway, that's all I wanted to say for today, man. You know, Crypto Troll. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, Crypto Troll, Troll underscore Crypto. And also subscribe to the YouTube channel, man. So, like I said, this is my video for today. Crypto Troll, I'm out of here.